What is up everybody, my name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the best chemical to remove oil stains from concrete. In this one, we're gonna be talking about the mix that we use. We're gonna be talking about all the aspects of this chemical, the things you should not mix it with because it can be really bad for you, as well as some other things you can clean with it. And uh, we're just gonna be looking at a job that we recently did, cleaning out some oil stains from a gas station that we do on a recurring basis. We do this bi-yearly. We clean all the concrete, we clean all the overhangs. Uh, we clean the building, pretty much everything. This guy has like three or four gas stations that we do twice a year, every year. We got them on a rotation. We even do the parking lot striping. So you guys probably seen this in another video. I actually made another video on how we land gas stations like this. So if you haven't seen it, be sure to check it out. I'll try to leave it linked in the comment section and the description. I'll also leave the particular chemical that we are using so you guys can go straight to it. You don't have to search for it or anything. And I'll also leave link down below $100 off our how to wash course. We are doing $100 off for the next little while. I'm not sure how long it's going to last, but if you guys haven't checked it out, in that course, we talk about all the chemicals you need, how to mix them, all the equipment that you need, how to clean every surface on a residential job site, property protection, and much, much more. We go into every single detail from setup to breakdown of what you need to be doing on a pressure washing job site in order to get the best results possible. So like I said, it's $100 off for the next little while. I'll be sure to leave a coupon code and a link down in the comment section description. Let's go ahead and get in this one though. Let's talk about the process we use uh, for cleaning concrete. So you guys saw it already. First and foremost, we you know mix the chemical in this case we did a one-to-one -one mix now the bottle gives instructions on mixing based on severity uh, of the oil stain that's being treated so obviously this stuff does cost a little bit of money if you don't need a one-to-one -one mix you can dilute it down if it's not that bad but here you guys are seeing uh, we're treating a gas station and so this thing has cars 24 7 it's had oil leaked on it for years and years and years we're going to kind of talk about uh, what you can expect as far as results here in a second as well there's three important things to remember uh, when using this dynamite degreaser first and foremost it does not mix well with bleach at all if you mix it with bleach you'll get a chemical reaction that will melt your face off it even says it on the bottle i'm just kidding of course it does not say that on the bottle uh but cody tells me that uh, if you mix this with bleach it could be very harmful for yourself and for others if they're in the vicinity so rule number one never mix this with bleach rule number two this can be downstream applied for mild stains or pump up sprayer application so in this video you guys are seeing us do a pump up sprayer application and you want to dilute based on the severity which we talked about a little bit earlier so the more severe it is the hotter the mix the less severe it is the less hot the mix essentially and then number three it works with hot water and cold water here we're using cold water units we have not uh, gotten to the level yet of having hot water units as you guys have seen on the channel we have been progressively getting better and better equipment uh, you know we started off with the trailer then we got the skid set up and then we put an eight on the trailer and so it's just a it's it's a progression we have not gotten to a hot water unit yet but the good news is you can use this with hot or cold water in this particular scenario we are using it with uh, cold water and not hot. The last thing that Cody wanted me to mention is it will also help remove tire marks from curbing. If you guys do any heavily trafficked area, uh, you can see that there's, you know, marks on the curbing from people hitting their tires against it. This chemical will also help you uh, with removing those marks from the curbing. So dynamite degreaser, great chemical. We've tried out a bunch of these and this one has just worked the best for us. So that was the remarks from the creator himself. Let's kind of talk about the process. You guys are watching the process right now, but first and foremost, you want to spray down the chemical. Uh, and like we mentioned before, you can do that either by downstreaming it or you can use a pump up sprayer application. One of the most important things is if you are using a pump up sprayer, make sure you lay label your pump up sprayers. Cody talks about that in the course as well as in his weekly class. You need to label things because if you mix the wrong stuff together, it could be a bad chemical reaction and you'll melt your face off. And the next thing that you want to do is agitate. In this case, we used a broom, uh, but if you have something else you want to agitate with, use that. It just kind of helps for the chemical to get into the concrete rather than it just sitting on the surface. So spray down the chemical, agitate with the broom, and then high pressure rinse. And then after that, you can repeat as needed until you reach the desired result. As you guys saw, there was a bunch of uh, dark stuff pulling around whenever we were washing this. It pulled a bunch of oil out, but one treatment, especially at a place as bad as this, isn't going to do it. Now, it might do it you know, in these parking spots where it's not as bad. However, right by the gas pump where there's the most amount of traffic, you really need to treat this multiple times. Now, the biggest thing to remember is setting customer expectations because our job isn't to give the customer new concrete. It's to make it look as good as possible. You'll never get these stains out 100%, but if you do a couple treatments, you can really, really make a drastic difference. The other thing to remember is this is a gas station. It is a high traffic area. We do it every six months. So these stains have been sitting here for at least six months and so they're gonna get bad again 
we're just going to do the best possible job that we can to lighten them up as much as possible to keep this gas station looking as good as it can. So it's important to set those customer expectations up front. You know, just do the best job you can with the tools that you have. So anyway, I want to make a quick video on not only how we do it, what we use uh, and everything else in between, but just kind of share with you guys the process and uh, this job that we recently did. So if you guys enjoyed the video, thumbs it up. If it helped you out, I really appreciate it. If you made it this far in the video, comment down below oil and I'll hashtag you a real one. Like I said, how to wash $100 off for a limited time. Check it out. It'll be linked in the comment section description. Get the chemical. Uh, watch the other video on how we land gas stations like this. And my name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. And until next time, hustle hard and get that money, baby. Peace.